Please note that police chases can be dangerous and unpredictable. We do not condone reckless driving or any other illegal activity. Our videos are intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. of information uh, but this car has been going at very very fast speeds here the driver of this vehicle topping some high speeds on the highway looks like he is going through a parking lot scary situation here especially below the trees there as there are a lot of people walking through that sidewalk and it's a, a very dangerous scene especially when you're driving at very quick speeds and weaving in and out of traffic. And there's pedestrians in the roadway. There's another one right in the middle of that busy crosswalk there. We're working to get some more information here. We're gonna keep this shot up as we bring you more. All right, you're taking a live look here as we work to bring you more information on a police chase happening in downtown Los Angeles right now. It was, I believe, a silver vehicle there that has been very much weaving in and out of traffic. Very scary scene. There were numerous pedestrians that this car got very, very close to. And you can see that police are closely behind as well. Not uh, not a unique sight necessarily to say the least when it comes to Los Angeles. And there was a very close moment yet again. That car uh, just getting right behind the other vehicle and weaving off to the side, the shoulder of the highway here as uh, it continues to make its way through downtown Los Angeles looks like he was going to exit there or she for a moment, but now uh, continuing down the highway on the shoulder going about uh, 60 miles per hour at the moment. But before this, before he had exited or she, this driver had exited, it looks like we might be getting some more information. It looks like our team at Fox 11 is on the air right now covering this. Let's bring you more of their coverage of intensity. It really is. You know, you're kind of holding your breath as you're watching this pursuit here as this suspect has been on the freeway, then surface streets, then off the freeway, back on surface streets, and now staying in the downtown area, going on this loop here in this. Look at that high rate of speed taking that curb there. Uh, it, it is really scary to watch this one, and you hope everybody is going to make it out okay after this. So we know downtown Los Angeles well, uh, is packed at this time of night as we approach 5 o'clock. Uh, and uh, th there are several one-way streets. Uh, there are uh, like, like, that like right this there. one. So this driver is now oh going against traffic on a one-way street in downtown L.A., Flower and Fifth is what we're looking at, driving right by the Bonaventure Hotel there, those iconic towers with the elevators there. Now moving the other way, uh, back towards, whoa! Almost had a collision right there, uh, moving back towards L.A. City Hall, uh, Disney Tower not far from there, um, and now moving very quickly. Uh, we're also not far from the courts uh, in, that are also in this area. Uh, people may be coming out of. This is right around the time as we now officially welcome you to the Fox 11 News at 5, uh, where people uh, will be leaving work, and, uh, and nobody is expecting this. Okay, wow, so that now and now turning in the other direction. Here we go, Christine. Well, as you think of why police are pursuing this vehicle, it's, it's a shooting suspect. Sometimes they will back off and go into tracking mode when it's really dangerous, Ooh. like something like this. We've not heard of that. We've not heard of LAPD going into tracking mode. Whoa. And that sometimes goes to tell you what they're looking at here. They might have a lot more information than we have when it comes to a shooting suspect. Was it a current shooting? Is it, is it recent? 
Do they have details on that? Do they know who the suspect is? But obviously, Ooh. this suspect is going at a very... Whoa, oh, man. wow. Whoa. And oh. he, he's going to probably keep going. Out really? of the car. So multiple, we're looking at multiple, multiple people. people. One, two, three, four. Four different people out of that car now on foot. You feel for the innocent driver who got hit. This looks like this might be a school right there or, or some sort of a park there where, where it looks like there are kids playing basketball on the court right there. Look at them. So they're now in the middle of their playtime when this, this shooting suspect on the loose and running. And, and this is a school right here at Edgeware and Temple. Uh, so now they're trying to lock down the area. The challenge is there are multiple, uh, multiple suspects that are there. So this, this school, which is we're looking at right here, is now uh, being locked down. Um, I'm sure they're trying to get those kids off of that basketball court. To wonder if they're having part of some sort of after school program or something. Um, and, and trying to protect themselves as these folks are on the run. And you also feel, Christine, for that innocent driver who was hit yeah. uh, and, and hope that they are okay after that collision. So we don't know at this time where those suspects ran to. Are they in one of these buildings that you're looking at right here? You see the residences across the street. You see innocent drivers there in the road. You had the, those suspects running in, in, in unison there, but did they split up? Are they in different directions now? Look like they were wearing all black. Again, this is a shooting suspect police were looking for. Uh, we have already one car that's been damaged when this car hit the suspect car hit a passenger, hit a innocent vehicle there. And look there, is that someone innocently walking down the street there, not knowing what's going on uh, on the other side of the street with all those LAPD cars. So if you are in this area, maybe you live at those apartment complexes across the street or something, this is a good time to stay inside and lock your doors uh, because we don't know if these suspects who are on the run uh, are armed or not. We do know that they were very desperate to get away. I mean, we, we watch pursuits here all the time. So here is that moment of crash. Watch right through an intersection, right into uh, a car. They were very lucky, Christine, not to hit into that pole right there, that power pole, uh, that, that light pole, I should say, that would have... Um, okay. Oh, okay, there's so an update got, there. You have two people there on the ground. Remember, four people fled that suspect vehicle. So it looks like they got two of them. No word yet on the other two. And that's right near where the car ended up stopping. So it looks like two of them did not get very far at all, Alex. I mean, that's quite an image, that the, the silhouette of, those, of that painting there, which looks like a tribute to Kobe Bryant uh, and other kids holding hands, and then the silhouette of these two shooting suspects on the ground laying out in, and the, the painting, of course, is all black, and they're wearing all black, uh, is quite an image. Um, and, and they will take their time, especially if it's a shooting suspect, to make sure that these uh, suspects are not armed and uh, not put themselves in, in danger. We're hearing that at least one of those suspects is outstanding. I Ellis. counted four people. Yeah. I I'm wondering if those suspects were not able to get away because they're right there by where the vehicle stopped after hitting another car. Yeah. I'm wondering if maybe they encountered a wall or a fence and had nowhere to go. Right. Um, and and you, you wonder also about the school and, and what sort of... Uh, gates or other things may be in, in place there. Um, a very so this is Betty Placentia School, uh, and it's an elementary school. So school, as you would expect for five o'clock, uh, is not in session right now. But it, it certainly looked like there were kids playing basketball outside at the time of this crash. There may be other after-school programs on campus. Uh, that are being impacted by this and uh, I'm, I'm sure the adults on campus are trying to make sure that those